because we want Muslims to hear them. And uh, if you notice, guys, with me here in uh, uh, in the Bible, you you will see that those who did never slept with the virgins, uh, with slept with women, women, sorry, and they are virgins. It says here, and their mouth was found no guilt, for they are without fault. Therefore, the the throne of God. You know, so what? They found with no guilt. That's why they are called virgins. So virginity is about many things. Virginity is about an action you do, all kind of action. It can be about sex, but it's about not to have guilt in the front of God. So somebody might say, well, those are men. You know, even if it's men, doesn't matter really. But for me, I believe that those are men and women from the tribe of Israel because there is no way God he will take only men he will not take women what about the women there's no good women the Old Testament mention Bibles who even consider as judges and as prophets so not even one of them deserve to be from the 144,000 so uh, you know the Bible is a very spiritual book when you read it you have to be careful but either way if it's all men or, uh, uh, or men and women as you see, this is not about sex. Sex slaves will be sent to heaven, as Muslims he said in their in their post. Those about good people, who they have no guilt against God, and this is why they will go to heaven. Right, and the verses in front of us are so clear. Do we have any Muslim? Stranger, wanna call me, my friend? You have to text me so I can call you. If you don't text me, I don't see anything. I don't see anything. I don't see anyone. Uh, let me see. Hold on. Oh, here we go. I got somebody here. <coughs> Hello. Yes, my friend. You hear me? Do you hear me? Hello? Okay, give me a second, please. Give me a second. I guess we lost him. <clears throat> Let us call again. Hello? Yes, my friend, we hear you. Go ahead. You hear me now? Yeah, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, but can you speak louder? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Can you help? How about now? My connection it's good. Okay. Now. It's you okay. Better now? Yeah, it's okay. Go ahead. You know, I, just, I just want to say thank, I just want to thank you very much here for your work. And obviously, I spoke to you about a year ago. We're back back to when I was a Muslim. Oh, okay. So you called me a yeah, year just, ago? Just, and you I, were... I just want to call it a quick message to say thank you very much and keep on doing a good job. But what happened? Uh, you called me as a Muslim. What happened when you left? No, before, um, obviously before, I used, to, I, I used to go to Speaker's Corner, debate Christians without knowing the truth about Muhammad and all of that. But also when I did my research, I got to know the truth. I'm thinking, is this really the man that I was supposed to worship? You know, mm -hmm. so I did my research, start reading the Bible, knowing the truth about the Bible, and I realized that this is the truth, but Jesus is the truth. I mean to that. So since since how long you left Islam, my friend? Um, maybe 11 months now. All right. So when you called me last time, basically. when you called me last time, did you leave Islam uh, life on air with me or after? Uh, no, that time, no, I didn't leave on, on air, no. but I was like having doubts, but I was, I did my research. Was us debating people and everything, but slowly, slowly, I I start going to church and I know the truth here that 
Okay. Jesus is the truth. Like, and there was a person in the uh, Bible, it shows that uh, after, his death after, was real. After you spoke to me in the phone, did you go to speaker corner and said yesterday I called Christian Prince and I refuted him? What you what you said after talking to me? No, no, when I went after when I spoke to you, but I, when I went to speaker corner, I, I didn't debate you after that. I was just listening to people. Okay. Just listen to people and everything. And I noticed that when I asked Muslim questions about Muhammad, they don't want to tell me the truth. Those like say, oh, he's this and that. They don't tell me like, the truth. So obviously I have to do research myself. Mm, okay. When I find out the truth about Muhammad, I'm thinking, was this the man I was defending? Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, then, uh, you know. Uh, then, the, yeah, so the, this, this, and, and I find out the truth that this is Muhammad is... is He's not a prophet. He doesn't sound like a prophet to me. He sounds like some man from the red light district. Okay, let me let me ask you. Yes, Muhammad is from the red yeah. line district. Actually, he's the founder of it. But he found it in different in, in earth and heaven. Like you have two location headquarter. Let, let me ask you. Plus in heaven, yeah. heaven, Allah's heaven. Thinking, what kind of heaven? That seventy-two virgins and all that. They don't sound like a heaven to me. Yeah. Uh, what What is the main reason? Like, made you decide to leave Islam? What, like, what happened? What is the What was the main point? Well, one of them is the life of Muhammad. And you know what he, what he did about Aisha and his son's ex-wife or something like that. He took her, mm. all of those stuff. Yeah, but you know, um, I'm, I don't know. And for me, I feel sorry for you because now you will not get the version in heaven. I mean, are you ready for that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you will be lonely, my friend. Don't you like to have 72 at least women? They are transparent. You, see, you can see the marrow of their bones. They are, oh, you know. That's too much for me. I won't be able to, I won't be able to handle it. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, no, Allah will give you enough power. Remember, He will give you like energy. You know, He will give you, <laughs> he, will, he will give you, a, He will give you a nuke uh, private part. You know, like this never stop. Like you know, even you cannot take a break. You you will be. Yeah, I heard the is unlimited. Yeah, you will be sexual ad addicted to boom boom. You will never be able even to stop no, to take sound, a break. That sounds like a bad heaven. That don't sound like a good heaven. Uh, exactly. <laughs> so you will be addicted to sex. You are not even have a choice to do or not to do. <laughs> oh no. I don't... <laughs> And not only that, actually, no, if you have, like if you if you have my book Sex and Allah, you will see that uh, uh, there is an angel will be behind you each time you uh, like you know you do too much sex with one woman. Uh, he, the angel, he will wrap in your uh, in your shoulder. He will say next because because the, because the one be, be in, 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 like in the front of you is just being smoked already. The smoke is coming from there. So the angel he will say oh to you, God. brother. What they believe. Yeah, the brother, take the take a second woman, brother. There are there is many brother, you know. So the angel oh he will God. be standing next in your back in your shoulder. I feel sorry for them. I hope one day they all be saved, just like how I was saved. Yeah. I hope they will they, they come to the truth one day. I hope so. Because mm -hmm. I always tell them, yeah, we Christians now, we don't hate you. We just want to save you. We, we, we want to come to the truth. Yeah. What you can I say. always tell them, yeah, I'm not against you. I just want to save you guys. Come to the truth. Come to Jesus. Jesus is, is the truth. You know, and I, it's the Bible. I, Jesus I, is I, the truth. Like, they always ask me, oh, how did Jesus say he's God? I said, it is. Yeah. I said, the, the messages are there. Like, I and the Father are one. And if you go to Genesis at the beginning, just at the beginning, it said how, let's make man on our own image. Us, who is us? Obviously, it's not an angel. Jesus with the beginning. He's from the beginning to the end. Yeah. You see, I'm trying to help you. And I will, I will play as a Muslim now. I will say to you, brother, can you look at the screen? Um, I'm on my phone. I can't look at the screen. Okay, hang up and look at the screen so you can see what you are missing. This is how Muhammad described women in heaven. So if you don't know what you are missing, my friend, you need to think twice. Come back to Islam, my friend. Yeah. For Islam, the only oh, one no, can I give you I would never this. go back. I would no, never go back. you don't no, want to come Islam back? Is are you sure? False. I would never go back. You don't want to have a woman transparent. You can see the marrow of their bones, which is no, very no, no, sexy. No, no. no, I'm happy being a Christian. I well, I don't know. I have my neighbor. Islam. I have my neighbor. He have a dog. When he see those bones, he go crazy. So I don't know why you don't oh, like God. it. You know, anyway. So thank you very much, my friend, for calling. But anyway, I just want to thank you very much. I'm sorry to take your time. Keep doing the good job, and I hope you will save many Muslims soon. We hope so. Thank you. God bless you. Yeah, hopefully they'll come to the truth. Thank Jesus you. is Lord. I mean to that. Thank you. Cheers. Take care of yourself. Bye. Bye. Okay. We want Muslims. Where is the Muslims? All right. Where is the Muslims? 
Uh, 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 someone saying to me read further in the book of Revelation my friend the book of Revelation is symbolic book no matter how farther you go all right the book of Revelation is symbolic book everything in the Bible is symbolic you know when you see the lamp is, is our God is a lamp is, is our God is a shepherd is our God really son of man? This is the Bible, my friend. One of the most amazing thing about the Bible that God humbled himself, not only physically, he come to us in a physical shape of a human being. He humbled himself even when he talked to me. So he make it simple. So the reason for speaking in parable, so you might understand for God, if you speak in the wisdom he have, you cannot comprehend so he speak to you in the language you understand he used the word versions but it's not about versions he used the word sheep but none of us is a sheep he used the word son of man but jesus is not a son of any man so either you understand from the beginning that when you are reading the bible you are reading a book of high spirituality speaking to you in parable or you don't read it at all So the naive ones is the one who think that this is about really physically on you know virginity yes it's, it's about physically too because you commit sin that's what make you not a virgin anyway but virginity is not only about sex isn't it jesus says that you know if your eye will take you to hell take it off from what from using it looking to wish something is not yours that you lost your virginity so there's many people they are you know, they, they, they try to understand the Bible the same as Muslims they do. They take the word in literate way. That's not what you do with the with the gospel. All right. This is a book of high wisdom. Uh you you notice we just mentioned to you the book of Matthew. What lamp? God he need lamps to know you? No. God need oil to find out who you are? No. Those are versions. In the, in the book of Matthew, or this is all of us. Are they really females? Here we go, it says here female. It says even there's a, there's, they are they are waking for a, a bridegroom. I mean, what, how clear we want more? But the bridegroom is here really a bridegroom. So when you read the Bible, never take it literate, unless it is literate, like Jesus and the cross, that's literate. They put nails in his hand, that's literate. Do you understand? The virginity in the Bible mentioned many times all over, and all of us, all of it, it's about people who they are ready, and God is going to take them to Him. Virginity is about sex, it's about sin, it's about your mouth, as the other verse says. Their mouth never involved with something of guilt. That's why they are virgins, not only their sexual organs. They never slept with women. What women here? The women here is not about female you sleep with. You see, when you read, when you read in, the, in the Old Testament, that uh, it says that the sons of God slept with the daughter of men. Daughter of men. Sons of God. So if you take it in literate way, uh, that will take you a different direction. Some, the women, the daughter of men, or the, the female of those men, those are the non-believers. The other ones are the believers. This is why they are called the sons of God. Otherwise, none of us is son of God. When the Bible calls you a child of God, are you a child of God literally? No. Are you son of God, literally? No. Only, there's only one person, his name is the Messiah, is the only begotten son of God. So, either you understand the Bible as a full, or you are missing a lot of understanding of everything. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything?
Anyone? Do we have any Muslim? I have many people texting me, but I don't see uh, well, all the Christians. Where are the Muslims? What happened? Are we short of Muslims? Can a Christian say Bismil ilahi rahman rahim Al ilah is different from Allah, have nothing to do with the word Allah. And why you want to say it in Arabic? However, this is not an Arabic word. Rahman or Homo or Hima is, uh, uh, is an Assyrian, sorry, it's an Aramaic word, a prayer. The Christian, they used to pray long before Islam. Rahman or Rahim, this is not an Islamic. This is a Christian prayer in Aramaic. All right. Everything Muhammad he have is a th is a theft. Muhammad he stole the word Ar-Rahman from a guy exists in his time. His name is Musaylama. Musaylama he stole it from the Aramaic. If you remember, let us go. And I hope those family they are going to wait for me because I promised them not to stay long. Hold on. If we go in the Quran, we will find this. Let us go there. Muhammad suddenly, he never before used almost more than half of his time as a prophet is gone. He never used the word Rahman ever before. So what happened? How Muhammad suddenly Is talking about a Rahman. Read carefully. Chapter 17, verse number 110. When Muhammad, for the first time, he started using the word Rahman, was long after he announced himself as a prophet. And you need to ask yourself, if this was mentioned for the first time here, so this is how exist it is now in the top of or in the beginning of every verse in the Quran or chapter in the Quran, except at Tawbah. So look, the Arab they say to him, What who is a Rahman? Your God, his name is Al Rahman. Is that a new God? Muhammad answered them, says, Say, call upon Allah or call him upon Al Rahman by whatever name ye call upon him. All the most beautiful names belong to Allah. Do you see it? Do you see it? Muhammad the thief, he received a letter from the guy who claimed to be a prophet, like him. At that time, there's many people who claimed to be messengers of Allah. And he is he is one of them, a fraud. So he his name is Rahmanul Yamama. He called himself Rahmanul Yamama. Muhammad, he liked the name. The guy, he sent him a letter and he wrote back to him. Imagine in the same letter, he wrote back to him, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So the Arab, they said to him, who is a Rahman? Do you have a new God now? The only Rahman we knew is Rahman al-Yamama. The Rahman of Yamama, the other, the other prophet. Muhammad, he answered them because they got him busted. He steal the name from, from that guy saying, oh, I call him Allah, or I call him Rahman, it doesn't matter, all the beautiful names belong to Allah. So what is the beautiful names belong to Allah? What does that mean? Susu? Can we call Allah Susu? You know what I mean? You see how the thief is? And if you read the interpretation, you will see they agree that the Arab, they say to him, who is Rahman al -Yamama? Who is this guy? I mean, who is this Rahman, God, Rahman? You, you worship now two gods? And you know, just to show you that we are not making things up, uh, let us do it. Uh, 
Again, remember, this is chapter 17, verse 110. We will open their Muslim website. Read the interpretation made by the Muhammadan. And you will see, this is what it says. <clears throat> Read carefully. The Prophet would often say, O oh God, the compassion one. So they said, O oh Muhammad, uh, forbid us from worshipping more than one God, and then yet he called another God by a Rahman. All right? But this is going to be true. For this is the first time Muhammad he mentioned this name. If you go to the book of Asbab al Nizul, there's a book it's called The Reason for the Verses to Come Down. Let us see. Jalalain. This is Asbab al Nuzul. Read carefully. And now he is calling. Allah always he used to say, the beneficent, the merciful. He never said Ar-Rahman. And now, now, you see guys the word now? And now, he is calling into two gods. Allah and the rahman We do not know anyone by the name of the rahman except the rahman of Yamama. Do you see it? So why Muhammad did never, never say in the Quran before Rahman? How come the word Rahman did not appear? How come they never heard it before? Why now? He liked the name. He added to the, the chain. And suddenly this name became very important to the point each time Muhammad he say, Allah, he added Rahman next to it. But the only Rahman is Rahman al-Yamama. Here they translate the word Rahman as beneficent. Of Yamama. Who is the Rahman of Yamama? The guy from he's a, he is Musaylama. They call him the liar to insult him. But the fact Muhammad is a liar too. Both of them they are liars. Did I answer you? Do we have any uh, any Muslim want to say anything? You know, I I find it funny. When uh, somebody in the text, he says to me, calm down, calm down. Anyone admins, anyone, he say the word calm down, CP. Give him time out first time. He say it again, block him. What calm down? Do you see me jumping? Either you are stupid or you are, I don't know what's wrong with you. Calm down. You see, people who have no passionate for Lord, they see that those who speak about the Lord are not coming down. We are the ones coming down because we love the Lord. We are, in, we are enjoying talking about it. Are you calm down? Or sleep, go sleep, snore, watch cartoon while you are here. Calm down. Listen to music. It's called a uh, uh, little bit of Jessica and a little bit of Monica like Muhammad. Calm down. What calm down? Why do you see me jumping, pulling my hair? What's wrong with you? Do you like me to sleep like this? Blazers and sisters, today we are going to teach you how to calm down. I want you to count with me from 99 to 0. 99. 99. 99. Uh, sir, it's you're stuck with 99. Idiot. This is how I can teach you to calm down. Stuck with it. 99. 99. 99. Okay, now we are calm down. Thank you very much for the advice. We go back to business. So the only name Muhammad he knew is Allah. And then he added Ar-Rahman. So how come Muhammad never heard of Allah, of Ar-Rahman before? Mm -hmm.
all the garbage of Muhammad is in my pocket. This is why we open our Skype. Where is the Mimi and the Fifi and the Susu and the Tutu and the Dudu and the Mimi and Kukuku and Tapata Tutitia? Where are they? Why you don't call me? Why are they? Do you want me to be the Christian Prince? Cowards. You don't dare. You don't dare. You got terrified. Even when this kid Mimi, he wanted to be, he got seven people there, including Fifi there behind the computer, they editing my to my videos and they cut the video and because they don't, they don't, they can't debate me. They cannot. Your God, Allah, cannot debate me. Allah. Do we have any Muslim when they get me busted before I go and speak to the beautiful family who left Islam and we pray that the wife. She is listening now. She will leave this cult. And actually, the, 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 the strange is that this lady, she said to me, and she is listening, I, I think, uh, that everything you say about Islam, I check it and I check out. So it's true. But still, I'm afraid of hellfire. Okay, how everything I said about Islam is true and you are afraid of hellfire. If you are afraid of hellfire, you should leave. Because obviously, this is not from God. Look at this verse as an example. <laughs> Allah saying that we spread the Quran into pieces. Why is that? It is the Quran which we have divided into parts from time to time, what is that? What, 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 what is that? In order to you, my, in order for you uh, to recite it, what does have to do with from time to time? He cannot recite it if you give it to him. All, aren't you God? If God said to Muhammad, recite all the Quran, Muhammad recite the Quran. Actually, already he said, he told him, read it three times in the cave of Hara, and Muhammad is still, he cannot read. And Muhammad is saying to him, I cannot read. So Allah, he sent the Quran to Muhammad in three parts, or sorry, in parts. What is it? Like a drop. There's a video of Nanan Khan, he says to you, Quran happened to be like this, like we have 100 bowl, or let's say 113, 14 bowl of uh, made of a glass and then Allah he put in everyone like a drop of Quran how this can be true and this is why you will find that the verses have nothing to do with each other what this verse here have to do with Israel here you tell me What the verse the Quran came in part have to do with Israel and then have to do with with, uh, 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 with the flood of Noah. What does this have to do with this? There's no connection. Everyone knows that Muhammad is suffering from flight of thoughts. And look, at the end of the chapter, I mean, the chapter is about Musa's and then about sending the Quran. And the last verse, praise be to Allah, who have no children. What does this have to do with the topic? Imagine now I finish my statement after two hours talking to you. I say, thanks to Allah, he have no kids. What does this have to do with this? Shouldn't you present for us first to tell us why we arrived to this point? What the name of Allah is Ar Rahman having to do with Allah have no kids? You know, this is uh, actually uh, remind me of. Uh, uh, of a debate <clears throat> oh boy 
Oh boy. Uh, I forgot where I, where, where I put it. It's funny. You know the song of uh, Anthony Roger? He asked him, so why you Muslims you fight over the spit of the prophet? The answer is, so, so, so if I spit, so if I spit, you see, no, spit, if I spit, if anyone know the video, uh, pause the video so we can uh, play it. I downloaded it, but I don't know where I have it. So, so if, if, so if I spit now, I'm gone, so I spit, this is not a question. And this is Muhammad again. The question is not about if you spit or not. As the question is, why you are collecting his spit and why you know why you wipe it over your face it's not because if you spit you are god all of them they are suffering from the flight of thoughts all of them if you read the first chapter in the quran al-fatiha you will find that al-fatiha is not only stupid it's the flag of stupidity. Look at this. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, most merciful. Okay, who is Allah then? If Allah is talking, why Allah is saying in the name of Allah? Imagine I start speaking to you, says. Christians, brothers and sisters, in the name of a Christian prince. Like brother, you are a Christian prince. Does not matter? In the name of Christian prince. But brother, you cannot say that. You are the one who's talking. You know, you cannot say in the name of Christian Prince if you are the one who's talking. My friend, this is wisdom, brother. In the name of Allah. But you are Allah. And then Allah, he says, praise be to Allah. Allah says, praise be to Allah. <clears throat> Hello. No screen? Oh, sorry, this is my fault. Thank you. Thank you for telling me. He really did not squeeze me to tell me about it. So Allah, he says in the beginning of the chapter, in the name of Allah, but you are Allah. Muhammad always, when he make Quran, fabricate, he forget to switch from the third person. If he say like a pray like this, I would understand. If I say, if he say, say like this, I would understand. But no, in the name of Allah, who is the one talking is Allah. Most gracious, most merciful. Allah is praising himself, talking about himself. Praise be to Allah again. The Lord of the two worlds. Most gracious, most merciful. But you just said that. You just said here, most gracious, most merciful. Why you are saying it again? What's wrong with you? Let us see. Maybe, maybe we have a Muslim. <coughs> Hello? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as salam. Hello, uh, you were saying something about uh, uh, like uh, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, I guess. What? Surah Fatiha. Yeah, what about it? Yeah, it's, uh, it is because it is directed towards uh, the Muslims that uh, you you should praise Allah whenever you start anything okay. in the name of Allah. Like no, uh, no problem. Work, you my, should my, my, it in my the friend, name of Allah. my friend, what's your name? Uh, I cannot tell it. Sorry. Okay, can you give me a name? Just call you Ahmad, call you Muhammad, what call you? Give me a name so I can we can talk to you. Okay. Okay. Call you what? Choose a name. Ahmad. Ahmad. Okay, Ahmad. Listen. If I just said, if the chapter saying pray like this, it makes sense. If the chapter says, say like this, it makes sense. But do you see anywhere in the beginning it says, pray like this? Like when when the when the disciples they asked Jesus how to pray, he said to them, pray like this. Say, say our Father out of heaven. So they asked him. He said, say like this. Pray our Father out of heaven. Now where in the chapter it says pray like this? Go ahead. But we Muslims believe. Believe this because this, this is word from God. God my, itself. My friend, no problem, no problem. You see, I know, I understand you believe in it. You are a Muslim. The question is, 
where he said to you pray like this this is Allah talking nowhere he says pray like this did it, where he said to you this is your prayer to pray every day do you see it nowhere where he said to you this is the prayer the mini prayer you are going to pray every day nowhere where he says to you recite like this nowhere so why Allah saying the most gracious most merciful Ask you the same question. Okay. What would be the purpose of uh, saying this in the name of Allah if it, it is not a word from God? If it is a word from God, that's Allah. wonderful, Why guys. Do that? That's wonderful. Why he say in the name of Allah if it's not from Allah? My friend, we have many cults. They come and say in the name of God, but they are, you know, if a Hindu he says to you in the name of Allah, is that make him not a Hindu no more or he's a Hindu? What if the Hindu, they change their God name and they call him Allah? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let, let me make it more simple for you. You, you are a Muslim Sunni, right? Okay. You are a Muslim Sunni. Yeah. Okay. The Baha'iyya, they use the word Allah as a name of their God. Are they Muslims? The Baha'i. Uh, no. No. Uh, you just agreed that somebody might use the name of Allah, yet still he is not from Allah. And the same for Muhammad. So what the proof that Muhammad is coming from this God, you call him Allah, just because he said in the name of Allah? Uh, yeah, I think Arabic Christians use the name of Allah. This is false translation, my friend. Allah has nothing to do with our Bible, because for us, uh, uh, Christian, we don't have Arabic Bible. We have a translation of Arabic Bible. So this is a false translation. The Bible never mentioned the word Allah. The question is, you just answered yourself. If I ask you, is the Ahmadiyya? Are they Muslims? The Ahmadiyya for you. Okay. Is, is the Ahmadiyya Muslim for you? No. Okay, but they, okay, but they use the word Allah. So see, so using the word Allah does not make them Muslim too. So now you are answering yourself. Now we go back to zero. Why Muhammad saying in the name of Allah, the most gracious, most merciful, in the first verse? And then in the second verse, it says, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Which, what is the name of your God? What is the name of your God? Uh, the God's name is Allah. No, read carefully with me. That's false. Verse number two have different name for your God. Look, the first one, it says Allah. Yeah, the second I, one... I, I have different names. Huh? Different name, 99 different name. No, 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 this is not, uh, this is the same name now. This is not different name. This is the same one. Here it says Allah. Look on the screen. Here it says, Li Lah. Alhamdulillah. I cannot check the screen. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Verse number two. Uh, no. Verse number two. Look. Chapter of Al Fatiha. Verse number two. Alhamdulillah. Who is Lah? Yeah, I am checking. Okay, who is Lah? The first one is Allah. We got that one. Bismillah rahman rahim The second one, it doesn't say Allah. It says li la. Li in, li in Arabic mean two. In Arabic, li mean two. Okay. Yes. Li la. Who is la? Who is the God la? You are saying thank you to him. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, you just say it yourself. Li, la, who is la? Li, mean, in Arabic, li is a, is a, is a letter to, to say uh, two, two. I don't know much, I don't know much, but uh, that means all praises to Allah. This is another question. You see, Alhamdulillah, you are praying to a God, his name is la. Where is Allah? Allah is gone. Your God name is la, is not Allah. Read it. You just say it, read, say it again. Alhamdulillah, li, la. Okay, so li la. But what does this comply? The, comply that the name of your God is not Allah. Allah is not the name. Allah is two words. Let me put it for you in the screen. Hold on. Allah is is two words, not one word. So we type here. Al. Al. Yeah. Lah. Al is a word meaning God. Al is an old Aramaic Hebrew language where the word Al presents God. So God Lah. 
God, la, this is the name of your God. Al, Al mean God. La is the name of your God. So when we say Allah, that's not the name. That's two words. The first word is God, the second word is La. So your real God name is, is La. This is why verse number two, it says, Alhamdu li la. Thanks to la. Alhamdu li, here we go, li la. Do you see it? What, what does this comply? That's comply that your God and his name is la, and la is the moon God. Thank you very much. You can search it right now. You will say you find that la is the moon God. Go right now, search on Google, if you don't believe me. La is the moon God. Okay, so what do you think about this discovery? For the first time, you learn about the name of your God, He and God. Our friend, He and God. But you have a future. I think you will leave Islam soon. This is the fact. Muslims are, they don't know their God. They think His name is Allah. His name is not Allah. Allah is two words. Al is word mean God. You can go in the Old Testament. The old Hebrew, where Israel was not Israel, was Israel. Ishmael was Ishmael. Mikael was Mikael. What Mikael mean? What Ishmael mean? What Israel mean? The word il at the end present God, the word God. So the word il used to be al in the old Hebrew. Al. Today in Arabic, the word al used as the like that but this is not the case here and this is why you see in the verse number two the first two letters which is al disappear why because you know he is using the word rub already the word rub here is exist alhamdulillahi rabbul alameen rub mean god so there is no need for him to add the word al before it because he added at the end this is the word rub Rab coming from the Hebrew too, and the Aramaic, Rabbi, Rabbi. Rabu, you know, so this is Rab. So here we see the true name of Allah, Lah. Here we see two words connected to each other, pronounced as Allah. In fact, they are Al Lah. Everyone knows, it's not a secret. I mean, for sure, depend on your education. I mean, everyone knows. I mean, anyone who have a deep uh, understanding and study, and he do really hard work research, he, he knew that L is a word meaning God. Daniel, Daniel. This is still from the same old name, Daniel. All those names used to be end with L, not Il. Il is, an, is an, in the New Hebrew. And you will notice the, the fingerprint of the Hebrew in the, in the Old Testament in the book of Muhammad all over. Muhammad, he called his angel, the one who come to him, Mikael. If you ask Muhammad what Mikael means, he don't know. Why? Because he's a thief. He don't know what the name means. It's not a name, actually. It's a sentence. It's a phrase. Same as Ishmael. Same as Israel. Not a single Muslim knew what those words mean, for this is a, a theft cult, including the name of their God, they don't know. We have a Muslim here, his, his name is Muslim Man Jawab. Are you Indonesian, my friend? Muslim Man Jawab, why you don't call me and give me the Jawab? Jawab, even here, look at the Muslims. Muslim live in Indonesia, you use Arabic word, they don't know what they mean, Jawab. Jawab means answer. Why you are using an Arabic word? Because you became the slave of the Arab. We went there to Indonesia and we enslaved you. So now your name is from our names. Your clothes is like our clothes. You eat as we eat. You pray as we pray. And now the Arab, they became your masters. And this is the whole purpose of this cult. That the Arab will take over and they will subdue other nations. Muhammad, he said clearly, that you are the best nation for mankind. How you are the best nation for mankind? You go after nations and you bring them with the chains around their neck. Is that true?
Read it, my friend. You are the best nation sent for mankind. How we are the best nation sent for mankind? You are the best for people ever raised up for mankind. Supremacist cult. Racist cult. Believe they are a race. And they are the best. In best in what? Best in going and killing and slaughtering. And the one who sub subdued to them, they will bring him and put the chain around their neck. Read it. That is Islam. Yeah, you see, uh, 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 Fabry is asking a question here. You see, if Allah, if Allah is a name, you don't take that, you don't take any part of the name. So when a Muslim, he say, Alhamdu, if Allah is the name, you don't say Alhamdu, Li la, you say Alhamdu li Allah. Correct? But because it's not part of the name, you can take it off. It's not the name. You know what I mean? It's like adding uh, uh, the word Mr. in the front of the name. You can't take the word Mr. So the word AL is a word meaning God. All right, you guys, I, you know, the, 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 the gentleman who is going to talk to him and his wife. Uh, uh, you know, they cannot wait long. So I, I apologize. I cannot really stay longer. I want to say thank you for being here and pray for this, uh, 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 you know, uh, family to see the light of Christ and the wife to accept the Lord, the Savior. Uh, I have only, you know, 15 minutes to talk to them. And I pray that this lady, she will accept the Messiah as her Savior. So all the family will be saved. They will live a beautiful life. And I say to her from now, it's for your benefit, actually. Look look how many benefits you will get the second you accept the Christ. Your husband, he cannot go and cheat on you. He cannot marry second and third and fourth wife. So this is the first payment the Messiah will give you. He will make your husband a different man. Faithful, lawful. Grateful for having you. He cannot go and have second wife. Right now, you want him to be Muslim back? Right now, he can go and bring second and third and fourth, and you cannot open your mouth. He can go open the door, bring three women to the house, and you cannot even mention it. And if you mention it, he can beat you. So, I say to her before we start talking in private, you should be thankful for the Lord, for your husband now is a Christian already. And he will never dare to break the command of the Lord and bring you third and second and fourth wife. Or he'll go around, sleep around. For if you do so, he'll go to hell. Thank you, everybody, for being here. May the Lord bless you. Please feel free to download my videos, share it with your friends, and your prayer for this Christian family and the Muslim wife to accept Christ as their Lord and as their Savior. Thank you. God bless you and see you soon. Take care.